Hey, Simon here, and today I want to talk about how to transfer vertex colors to 3D Studio Max, change them there and get them back into Unreal. What I mean by this is that you can have vertex colors, obviously, on your mesh. In my case, I exported this sphere and it has no vertex color already applied yet. Um, applying them in, them in 3D Studio Max is one way, but the other way is to paint them. So you can uh, just go here. Normally this mode is turned off, you can uh, activate uh, show RGB here and then you can paint on your mesh. I mean that we uh, probably all know. But what I want is to use my painted vertex colors here, just like so, and add some red in addition, like so. And what I want is to replace all the blues with green for example and to do that by hand would be a bit time consuming so i want to use a little script for that so what you can do here is to to make that possible in 3d studio max for example you have to bring these vertex colors to the mesh which has no vertex colors applied yet they are in the unreal level right so what you can do is you can press this button it copies the vertex color you paint it on the object in the level to your object like you see here uh, and now we can export our um, sphere i just overwrite my old sphere which had just white vertex colors applied and then i go to 3d studio max delete the old one and import uh, the overwritten sphere like so remember to see the vertex colors in 3d studio max you have to go into the object properties and activate the vertex color channel so here we have my beautiful painting and in my case I have a little script but what you do to the vertex colors that's totally your thing uh, in my case I want to replace all blues with green um, which is exactly what the script does I have to convert it to editable poly before that and then evaluate the script so like so and now I just export it again and override my old sphere and now it's uh, it gets interesting because here when I just re-import the mesh, it will work. And the reason for this is, I go back, um, that I didn't save my level yet. So when I save my level, like a V color, and now we import the mesh, then you don't see the change. Because I guess the vertex color information now is stored into the level and not into the RAM or where it was lying before. Oh, and by the way, when the re-import doesn't work and you don't see an update in the vertex colors, make sure when you search here for vertex colors that this is set to replace. Sometimes in the standard case it's set to ignore or something like that. So replace replaces the new incoming vertex colors on the FBX file or on the U asset file. That's the better way to say it. So what you can do here is you just drag your new sphere in here and as you see the the vertex color information here is updated while here is the old one and now you can just hit copy here delete this one and paste here and everything is fine by the way you can also import um, vertex color from a tga file yeah, and, and fill here and you can also here, you can uh, show the different channels and also the alpha if you need it. And yeah, uh, that's it basically. Uh, I hope this helps you if you have to deal with vertex color and have to fix something via script in 3D Studio Max and you can't do it automatically in Unreal. Yeah, I hope it helps you. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.